What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yad. Yes, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Listen, I come to bless somebody today. Yes, your father has sent me with a word, okay? I don't know who this is for or where you are, but I'm telling you, you're on the heart of your father, okay? So guys, listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, all right? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button okay and if the holy spirit relieves you too go ahead and comment share the video okay bless somebody else with this word because i promise you this word and i know i say that like every video <laughs> <laughs> but it is the word of God, and, 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 and I am intending, the Lord is, has sent me here intending to bless someone. Amen? Amen. All right, guys, before we get into the word, we're going to go ahead and pray in the Holy Spirit, okay? Because y'all know we don't do nothing here without God, okay? Pray with me, family. Father God, we come to you today, Lord Jesus, as humble as possible, Lord, just thanking you for who you are. God, we thank you for your many blessings, God. But today we just want to thank you for your love, God, for your unfailing love, God. Thank you for loving us, Father God. Thank you for loving us even when we didn't love ourselves, Father. We just want to say thank you. Father, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father God. I pray that they have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Father, let it be your voice that is heard, Father. Begin to fill me up. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Let it be you who speak through me, Father God. Speak to your children. In Jesus' name, I pray that Yada is seen but not heard. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. Listen, I don't know who this is for. Listen, but you've been, ooh, you've been crying. I came to get, I came to free somebody today. Listen to what your father said. He said, Yada, let my child know. You were born with it. I don't know what you crying for, what you trying to get, what you seeking, but your father told me to tell you, you were born with it. Listen to me. And you're like, y'all are born with what? God said, tell them you were born with it. They were already born with it, okay? Everything you desire, you were born with it. Listen to what your father said. He said, tell them you were born with three things. And I'm not saying these are the only three things. These are the three things we're going to focus on. This is what he said today. Okay? Amen? Okay, so your father said you were born with a debt day. Okay? We all have a debt day. Amen? Okay? We, we can agree on that. You have a debt day. You were born with an inheritance. Listen to me. Your father said you were born with an inheritance. Listen to me. And you were born with the ability and the equipment to tap into that inheritance. Listen to you. Listen to your father speak. He said, listen to me. I have an inheritance up here in heaven for you. You are equipped with everything you need to tap into that inheritance. Ooh, listen to me. He said, the only thing you don't have. The only thing you were not born with was the knowledge on how to utilize your abilities, your gifts, your talents, how to utilize them to tap into your inheritance. Okay, guys, God is saying when you were born, everything you need, everything you desire, you already have. Listen to me. You were born with it. Somebody say, I was born with it. <laughs> Claim that. Say, I was born with it. Let me break this down. Let me tell you how your father gave it to you. He said, you are a king's kid. Come on now. You are a king's kid. Do you know your father is a king? And this ain't going to be for everybody, okay? I'm talking about kingdom kids. If you hear, you hear for a reason, okay? You was laid here for a reason. I'm talking about kingdom kids. Do you know that your father is a king? And therefore... If you didn't know that, you didn't even know you was a trust fund baby. <laughs> God said, you didn't even go tell my child you are a trust fund baby. You didn't even know you was a trust fund baby. Listen to your father. He said, there is an inheritance stored in heaven with your name on it. Okay? There is inheritance stored in heaven with your name on it, baby. I'm talking about you. God say, listen, you better ask Father Abraham. Ask, you, you better ask Father Abraham. He said, when you have your land, when you have land for your state, when you own the land, baby, you own everything in it. You own everything on it. Okay? You crying about stuff. God say, the reason 
the reason we having such a struggle okay listen to your father he said because you must manifest heaven on earth not the universe on earth listen to who listen to what your father said he said we sitting here trying to manifest the universe on earth come on now he said but you ought to be trying to manifest heaven on earth that is where it come from your father said you're gonna have to gain the knowledge to utilize your abilities your abilities okay you're gonna have to utilize them the correct way Okay, in order to obtain the inheritance he has for you. Okay, the real thing. Come on now. God said you're going to have to utilize those gifts, those talents. Come on, because a lot of people gifted and talented, but they don't all use it for the right reason. We don't always use it for the right reasons. Okay, God said, so stop saying you were not born with a silver spoon. Listen to me. And God say, tell them they were born with a silver spoon in a spirit. Who? Listen, your father say, he said you were born with a spiritual silver spoon. I don't know who, I don't know who this is for, but is this for you? You might well go and comment you a spoon. Go and comment you a spoon right now. Say, I was born with a silver spoon in the spirit because you are a king's kid. Okay, you were born with a silver spoon in the spirit in Jesus' name. Listen to me. He said, so since your spoon was given in the spirit first, come on now, stay with me. This going to bless somebody. Come on now, stay with me. God said, because your spoon was silver, you was given a silver spoon in the spirit first. You must eat spiritual food. Okay, listen to me. He said you must first eat spiritual food in order to, and then you will begin to tap into your inheritance. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. God said, remember, Jesus said we must live off more than bread alone, okay? Man must live, must. He didn't say can. He said man must live off more than bread alone. Listen to what your father said. He said because your silver spoon, come on, you were not born with it, okay? He said, yeah, you were born with it. You just weren't born with it in your hand. You keep talking about you got to get it out the mud. No, you got to get it out the father. <laughs> you keep saying, oh, I got to get it out the mud. No, you got to get it out God. Do you hear what I'm saying? You got to get it out of heaven. God said because your spoon was silver in the spirit first, you got to eat spiritual food. And then you will begin to tap into your inheritance. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, go and comment your silver spoon if you're ready to start eating spiritual food. Come on, I'm not talking about baby food. God said when you start ready to start eating meat. Come on now. He said when you're ready, if you're still ready to start eating the meat and you know your silver spoon was given in a spirit. Come on, go ahead and comment your silver spoon in Jesus' name. God said, it's a good thing about this inheritance. Let me tell you something. The good thing, I come to tell you a secret. Come on now. I come to tell you the secret, okay? God say the inheritance is already yours because your relatives are already in heaven. I'm telling you, the Lord said your inheritance is already yours. You can have it. It's about will you, what will you do? You got to believe it. Come on, somebody say, it's already mine. Do you believe it's yours? Come on, somebody type out, it's already mine. God said, you got to believe it's yours. The world ain't going to tell you it's yours. It going to tell you, you got to do this, that, and third to get it. God say, but I already say that was yours. Come on now. God said it was yours. Come on, say, it's already mine. God say, it's time. It's time. I don't know who this is for. I pray that you catch it by faith. God say, but God say, it is time to stop making the struggle look good. Ooh, Jesus, listen to me. God say it is time to stop making the struggle look good. He say, my church, I don't want you to make the struggle look good, baby. I didn't intend for you to stay there. He say, in 2023, I don't want you to just look good. Come on now. He said, I want you to be actually good. He said, I want you to actually be good in Jesus' name. Come on now. He's saying, this ain't, I ain't talking about just, just living in, 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 in poverty, okay? Because you, you, do just, you might not have financial needs. Come on. He said, but you, you might be financially stable and, and, and good. He said, but mentally, come on now, you mentally struggling. I remember Pastor Darius said you could be winning in one area of your life and losing in another. Listen to what your father said. Thank you, Lord. God said you, you think because you're good financially that your struggle is not there. That is still a struggle. He said you ain't had a good night's sleep. Come on. In years. Come on. He said rest come with me. Listen to what your father said. He said, rest come with me. Some of y'all ain't looking for financial uh, uh, gain or, 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 or materialistic gain. You got the car. You got the husband. You got the house. You got the wife. You got the children. He said, but do you have mental stability? Come on now. Are you resting well? Do you have peace? Peace is a part of the inheritance. 
God say, I have whatever you need. I have whatever you need. Come on now. God say, I have whatever you need. Come on now. So he said, no more of the trife life. Come on, no more trife life. No more trife life. Come on, somebody time in, comment. No more trife life. Listen to what your father said. He said, you got to know poverty is a spiritual condition. Poverty is a spiritual condition. Come on now. This is not saying, God say, I did not tell you that was your life. Come on now. He said, you have an inheritance that you could tap in at any time. Listen to what I'm telling you. Your father say, I did not give you that life. You chose that life. You chose to be a product of your environment. Come on, listen to what God told That's how he gave it to me. He said you chose to be a product of your environment. You chose to do that, baby. You chose not to walk in your power. Come on now. God said you could be walking in your power and choose to be a product of the most high. Ooh. Somebody say, I am a product of the most high. I am the product of the most high, God. Come on, because I used to be a product of my environment. Listen to me here. But the world is not... Who he who is in me is greater than who is he who is in the world. Come on now. So I, I'm not who the world say I am. Come on now. God said you gotta know you gotta walk in your power, the power that I gave you. Come on now. So you got I'm telling you what your father said. He said you gotta operate as a product of me. You gotta operate as a product of me. The product of the most high. Come on now. God said the blessings you uh, is yours. The blessings are yours. But I will not just give them to you. Okay? He said this is not a like um on and, and on earth, you know, when you have an inheritance and it'd be like, oh, your long lost uncle, he died or something, and the people from the bank come chasing you. They come looking for you. God say, but for this inheritance, listen to me, children of God. Listen to me. This is your breakthrough. I'm coming to break you free. He say, for this inheritance, come on now. He said, you gotta come looking for me. Look at my shirt. It say, come catch up with God. Come on. I mean, hey, catch up with Jesus. Come on now. He said, catch up with Jesus. He said, you're going to have to come looking for me. I will not come looking for you, forcing you to get your stuff. I ain't coming look for you, forcing you to come get your stuff. Come on. I don't know who this is for. God say, you're going to have to seek me. You better seek him like he owe you something. <laughs> you better seek him like he owe you something. Come on, God say, you know how they say, beat you like you stole something? Listen, you better seek him like he stole something. <laughs> you better seek God like he stole something because he got your stuff. He got your blessings. Listen to what I'm telling you. God has your blessings, the things that you desire. He said, I will give you your heart's desire, but you got to seek me. You got to seek me. Come on, stop hoping and wishing. Stop hoping and wishing. I don't know who you are. God said you keep hoping and wishing. Come on now. He's saying start praying, fasting, and meditating on my word. This is how you get to him. You don't get to him just, just praying and wishing and waiting. God said, no, you got to pray, fast, and meditate. Come on now. Meditate on the word of God. Come on. He says, seek me. Seek me. Come on. I'm, I'm going to keep reminding y'all the word say to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Come on now. And all those things. I'm telling you, all your heart desires, because everybody's desires are not the same. Come on now. I'm telling you, everybody ain't going to have the same desires. So you have to seek God for your desires. Go get your inheritance. I'm not talking about nobody else. This is why you got to keep your eyes on your own stuff. Okay? I'm not talking about no, oh, nobody else's. God said, you keep thinking. You keep thinking to yourself, man, I keep trying what they doing. I keep trying what they doing. But it ain't the real deal. What they was doing ain't the real deal. God said, you can't get real from fake. You can't expect real things to come from a fake source. You got to come to me. I am the source. Come on now. God say you cannot expect real things to come from a fake source. Listen to what I'm telling you. God said you're going to have to have an honest hustle, baby. In order to get you, in order to get that blessed bag that's yours, come on now. You want to get into your custom bag? You want to get in your bag? Come on, God said you won't get in your bag? Come on, anybody won't get in the bag? You won't get in your bag? He said you're going to have to have an honest hustle. Come on now, y'all just thinking y'all be watching these people on Instagram and all this and that. Some of them call. God said some of them calls be right from Turo. That ain't even they calls. And you sitting here trying to spend all your money. He he telling you to invest in something. No, you, you spending all your money trying to get that car and they don't even own it. I'm, I'm talking about real stuff, okay? Listen to me. 
God say, you got to look for your own custom bag. Look for him for your custom bag. Do you hear me? He said, because the bags you looking at, the bags that interest you, they you may not be willing to do. Come on now, what they are willing to do for that bag. You may not be willing to do what Cardi B and Megan are stallion. Come on, Beyonce, whoever you look up to, whatever it is, you may not be willing to do with your mom or whatever. I'm telling you. God said, you may not be willing to do what your pastor did. Come on now. He said, you may not be willing to do what they did for their bag because we don't know if their hustle was honest. Come on now. For we don't know if their bag is blessed. We just know they got a bag. <laughs> so that's why you got to keep your eye on your own bag. Come on now. Somebody say, keep your eyes on your own bag. Type that out. I'm going to let y'all go in a second. I just got to give y'all how God gave it to me. Say, tell them, keep their eyes on their own bag, baby. He said, listen to me. He said, don't be looking at these four houses. Come on. He said, some of these people is scamming. Come on now. He said, you don't know have to do all that. He said, listen. He said, for, for um, you think you choose you buying these people teas? He said, if you live a fasted life, you ain't got to worry about buying these people teas for no tummy. And they didn't went got a tummy tuck. Come on now. They false advertising. They talking about, oh, drink this tea. Here you spending your money that God told you to invest in something else for purpose. Come on now. You talking about, he's going to live a fasted life. Do workouts. <laughs> Come on now. They ain't do one sit-up. And you buying their tea thinking you going to get the tummy like he said you not. You're going to have to be doing willing to do more than drink some tea, baby. You're going to have to be willing to do more than drink some tea. Come on now. Because they did more than drink some tea. Okay, God said so you may not be willing to do what they did to get what they got. You got to stay in your own lane. I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you. God said, listen, get your custom bag. Don't be trying to get Michael Kors bag. Mm -mm. I don't want Michael Kors bag, baby. Listen, I want y'all a bag. Listen to me. He said, God said, I got a bag with your name on it. Just do you. Come on now. He said, you may not be willing to do what they do. So just do you. Come on now. Somebody say, I'm just doing me. <laughs> I'm just doing me. Come on, listen to me. I'm about to let y'all go. I'm just doing me. God say, get your eyes on God. And get your bag. This is how you get in, in your bag. We won't get in your bag. You say, I'm, 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 I'm in my bag. You know how to say, I'm in my bag. You won't get in your bag. You get in your bag. Come on now. First, you got to get to your bag. Who has your bag? In order for you to get to it, you got to know who has it. Okay? If you want that blessed bag, you got to know God has the blessed bag. Come on now. God has. Somebody say, God has the blessed bag. You got to get to God. You got to get to God. Come on now. So, so you got to get your bag. Come on, before I let y'all go, I'm going to tell you, you got to get to your bag. You got to find it, okay? You got to get to God, get your bag, and then you got to open it. Okay, you got to have enough strength to open it. You got to be courageous enough to open that bag and just start getting whatever. You got to say, oh, I ain't leaving nothing in this bag, God. I want everything you got for me, God. I want everything in this bag, God. Come on, God, say, I want you to have your bag. Stop looking at everybody else's bag. Get your own bag. Come on here. Stop crying about what else is going on in this world and get on get on seeking God. Okay? Go to God and get your bag. Listen, so I'm about to let y'all go. <laughs> Listen, he say how much you get out of it. Once you open that bag, come on now. Once you tap in, come on now. Once you tap in, how much you get out of it is up to you. Come on, how much you get out of it is up to you. Come on, somebody, I'm telling you, God said you were born with it. You were born with it. This ain't going to be for everybody. I'm telling you, God said this is for kingdom kids. This is for children of God. If you are a child of God, God said you were born with it. You were born with everything your heart desire. What you going, you going to come get it? Come seek ye. Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Will you seek God for your blessed bang? Do you have an honest hustle? Will you have an honest hustle? Come on, God say, will you have an honest hustle? Will you come and seek me with all your hearts? God told me that yesterday. Oh, he told me it was yesterday, day before yesterday. He said, I want your heart. I want your whole heart, baby. I want your whole heart. He said, seek me. Seek me. I'm telling you, God said, that's where the bag come from. You want, the, you want the bag? You won't get in your bag? He said, you got everything you need inside of you. Just seek me. Okay, seek me. The kingdom of God is inside of you. Seek me. You keep looking out here in this world for, for, for the kingdom of God. You're looking out here, looking out for God, looking for your, your, your bag elsewhere. You're trying to come up elsewhere. God says, seek ye first. The kingdom of God, seek ye. Seek God inside yourself. Everything you need, you are equipped with, with everything that you need. In Jesus' name, I don't know who you are.
But God sent him to tell you, baby, get up. Pick your head up. Keep moving. It is time to seek him. Catch up with Jesus. Stop trying to catch up with everybody else and catch up with Jesus. One thing I learned from my pastor, and I always say his name, Mike Todd, because he helped me transform. Okay, and I laughed the other day because I watched, okay, so I watch and, and I follow Transformation Church, okay, and, and Mike Todd is the pastor. He had, he helped me transform, okay, and then for Change Church, if y'all know, I, I also follow Change Church with Pastor, um, pastor Darius, Dr. Darius, so he also helped me change, okay, so after Mike Todd helped me transform, Pastor Darius helped me change. Change, okay, but we, I, I also had to go with Rock City, okay, with Pastor Mike Jr. He helped me rock out with the Lord. Do you hear what I'm saying? He helped me keep keep rocking out with the Lord in Jesus' name. So the Holy Spirit gonna lead you where you need to go. You just gotta catch up with Jesus first. Amen. All right, y'all. I hope I pray everybody get in their bag. Listen, in 2023, we get in our bag in 2023. You get in a blessed bag in 2023. You just, I'm telling you, walk in your power, baby. In Jesus' name, I pray that this word blessings whomever is intending to bless okay i love y'all so much i love you guys so much I, I i really really do okay and i pray this really reach whoever is intended to reach guys listen y'all go and be a blessing okay i love you god loves you thank you for the love the share the comments okay the likes everything the seeds that you're sowing the emails okay keep them coming guys i definitely appreciate it i love you and i thank you from being here viewing and giving me a chance to serve you okay uh, God be blessed guys